Today, we're talking about a limited edition 2022 48 Sportster from Harley Davidson and nine things you need to know. Hey crew, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks and I found a video on YouTube recently talking about a 2022 model Sportster 48 limited edition model that is called the Final Edition. Now the video had no narration, it was just some shots of the bike itself at what appears to be a bike show. So I did some Googling, did some research, and I found one article talking about this bike that gave me a little bit of additional information that I'm going to share with you in this video. Now, I'm not going to copy somebody else's content or use someone else's video without permission, so I'm only going to use a few frames from that video. If you want to see the whole video, it's pretty short, but I'll put a link to it in the description down below. You can check that out. And if you like motorcycle content, I'd like you to check out my new channel, New Bike Mike where I do videos like this on that channel covering all brands and new releases of motorcycles. There's a link in the description down below. One, Final Edition. In this image, we can see a banner in the background that says 48 Final Edition. And we can tell it is a limited production of 1,300 models. I was also able to confirm this based on the news article I found online. I think this is an absolutely brilliant thing for Harley-Davidson to do. I've complained in the past about them cutting models and never discussing it, or even acknowledging that these models are gone. They just proceed with talking about new models as if the old models never existed. We're gonna talk more about that in just a minute. Can you imagine how fast the Dynas would have sold out if people knew in 2017 it was gonna be the last year for the Dyna? Now, while I understand why Harley-Davidson couldn't do that with the Dynas, because it would have alerted employees that worked at the Kansas City plant that their jobs were in jeopardy, I do think they could do that with some of the soft tail models like the Deluxe or the Breakout that they've recently cut or the new models that they're cutting for 2022, like the Slim and the Sport Glide. Let me know in the comments down below if you think putting out a limited edition, final edition before they cut a bike would be a good idea, and would you pay a little extra for something special like the limited edition we're about to look at? Two, engine. We can tell from the image on the display poster that this is still an air-cooled Evolution V-Twin 1200cc engine. Now we all know whether we like it or not, the air-cooled engine on the Sportster does not meet emission requirements in many countries. A few years ago, Harley-Davidson said it did not make financial sense to try and upgrade the engine to meet the Euro 5 requirements. And they have instead focused on the new Sportster using the Revolution Max engine, like the recently released Sportster S and the much now anticipated Sportster 975 that we believe will come out in 2022. Three, what is the same? Most of the bike looks exactly like a 2021 Vivid Black 48. It appears to me the wheels, tires, suspension, and brakes on the front and rear are all the same as the 2021 model, including the iconic peanut tank. It has the same emblem on the tank as the 2021 models. The exhaust and the fenders appear to be the same as well. So that leaves us to question, what is different? Let's get into that. Four, seat. You can definitely see the seat in this image is different than the stock seat pictured here. In the article I found, they described the new seat as a bobber solo saddle with gold studs and a bar and shield engraved on the leather. While that sounds cool, it better be comfortable as well for anyone that intends to ride this bike and not just buy it as a collectible. Five, side cover. We can see a side cover on the right side of the motorcycle and it appears to have the same image as the banner in the background with the letters Final Edition and it features a red serial number. In the image, we can see that this number is 0001 on the banner. Based on what I read in the article, each bike will have its serial number printed on it, so I think it's safe to assume that's what this image is on the right side cover. Six, grips. It's a little hard to see, but the stock grips are plain smooth rubber. The article states the final edition is equipped with a nostalgic hand grip that makes you feel the tradition of Harley. You can see in this image here, it does look a little different than the stock grips. While I'm not sure a grip makes me feel anything besides comfortable or uncomfortable, I do think a comfortable grip is a bonus. So let's hope some comfort is added to this new grip as well as nostalgia. Seven, air cleaner. The stock air cleaner in 2021 was very plain and it was just a painted air cleaner. It is pretty noticeable in this picture that the new final edition gets an upgraded chrome version with the bar and shield on it for a more premium look. Eight, chrome trim. You can spot chrome timing covers to replace the stock ones, and according to the article I found, there are other decorations suitable for a limited edition model, and they are scattered throughout the bike. Now, I did not spot any that were obvious to me in the rest of the video, but that doesn't mean they're not there. They may just be small touches. Nine, availability. All right, here's the kicker. 
This bike was announced in Japan. So far, it is only available in Japan. Now, that doesn't mean they won't do this in other markets. It's just not been announced anywhere else yet. It doesn't mean they will do it in other markets. I don't know, but I'm very hopeful. This bike was shown at a bike show and pre-orders for it began on December 6th, according to the article I found. While there is no guarantee that Harley-Davidson will make a final edition in any other markets, I think it would be an awesome move on their part. And it would definitely increase sales and allow them to charge a small premium for a limited edition model. Just by making a few cosmetic upgrades and printing the serial number on the side of the bike, it makes it pretty special. Kind of like they used to do with the anniversary editions when they would print the number of the bike on the dash console, like my dad's limited edition 1988 Springer Softail. If you're interested in all brands of motorcycles and new models that are being released, and you enjoy the style of this video, then I think you'll really enjoy the content on my new channel, New Bike Mike. Please check it out. I could really use your help getting to the first thousand subscribers. There'll be a link to it in the description down below. I want to give a quick shout out to all the members on my channel. Thank you for your support. If you'd like early access to videos like this or other perks, click the join button down below to learn how you can get access for as little as a dollar a month. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. And as always, thank you for your support. Stay safe and keep on riding.